Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Now, I know I haven't uh, created many video tutorials lately, but sometimes I can get what's called editor's block. Uh, it's much like writer's block where you just don't know what to do next. I've created so many Elements videos in the past that, um, you know, I, I have to come up with new ideas. So I sit in the studio and I play in Elements as much as I can to kind of bring you something new. Well, I think this is something new. Today we're going to do what's called a high key line drawing touch up effect. High key line drawing touch up effect. And this is what we're going to come up with. So as you can see here, we have a very high key photo and we have a lot of different layers, but I didn't create those layers because in Photoshop elements, we know that there's a quick edit, a guided edit and an expert mode. And if you want to learn a lot about those, if you go to jtclearning.com, you can sign up for one of my online courses and you can learn about all these great tools. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's revert this image. So we're going to revert this image back. And now we're going to go up to our tabs on the top. We're going to go to guided edit. The first thing we're going to do with this photograph is we're going to change it into a high key effect. Go to high key and it is color. So there's our color effect. Next thing we're going to do is add a diffuse glow, and there's our little bit of a glow. Click on done. The next thing we're going to do is just very simple. Another great guided edit is line drawing. Click on line drawing. We're going to do the pencil sketch effect. And there you go. We have a nice little pencil sketch effect going on. We're going to adjust the layer opacity. It gives it a little bit more opacity. It brings it up a little bit. And then we're going to click on levels. And levels are just kind of leveled out. Now you see this is a very, very high key shot by the very blown out background, right? The very uh, white background. Click on done. Now a lot of people don't realize, even though you're using the guided effect tools, what we can do now is go into our expert mode. So we're going to go to expert mode. And in our expert mode, you see now that we have this. And we have those layers that we started out with when I started this tutorial. But I told you we're going to do a touch up effect. Because this is okay, and you can drop this opacity at the top here. We can bring it down and bring the bike back out. But we're not going to do that. We're going to leave that at 80% where it was. Uh, set it there to 80. And we're going to add a layer mask onto this layer. So click on your layer mask tool, which is the little button here in the top. It's three buttons over above your layers. On that layer mask, now I'm using my uh, Wacom or Wacom pen. You can use your mouse for this effect. It really doesn't matter. You, I just like to have a little bit more control. We're going to click on our brush tool over in our, in our draw panel. And then we're going to make sure that we have black selected in our color swatch here. So, uh, foreground color is black. And we're just going to start bringing out some detail on this bike. So I thought we would bring out the black parts of the motorcycle just to give it a little bit more depth. So all I'm doing is just I'm, I'm painting on my layer mask with black. I'm just going over top of the seat. And again, I just like to use the Wacom board because I have a lot more control over what I'm doing. We're going to go over this uh, seat here, the main seat of the motorcycle. And these edits are very easy to do, but it's eye popping, right? When you hang this photograph up uh, in your, you know, in your house, people can come in and say, wow, that's a pretty amazing photo. Um, you know, and they may not know how you did it. And you say, ah, oh, you know, I used a special lens or whatever you want to tell them. Use special lighting gear, you know, whatever. Really, we just learned how to uh, manipulate our editor to make it work better. I thought I would do uh, the saddlebag, or at least the top of the saddlebag here, to bring that out a little bit on this uh, one side here. Uh, this image is courtesy of, uh, you know, uh, online images. I uh, appreciate uh, folks taking pictures there and post them online. Gives me something to use to play with when I play with my edits. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a motorcycle. This will work on landscapes. This will work on portraits. Uh, if you're doing high-key portraits, maybe you want to bring out somebody's hair, their detail of their hair. We're going to go uh, fix that little motorcycle seat right there. Go and we're going to do the headrest here or the backrest of the uh, sissy bar. And then I thought really to make this photograph pop, what we're going to do here is as you can see already, we're getting some detail in there. 
I may go over this gas tank area right here because I realize this is a black area here. Um, not the whole gas tank, just the center of it. Again, I'm just pulling detail out using a layer mask. So layer masks are powerful, folks. I mean, um, you know, they're really, really powerful to use a layer mask. So we'll pull that detail out. And then the last thing we're going to pull out here is the rubber on the tires. I don't really want the metal, but I do want the rubber of the tires. So I'm going to go here and just go over the tires. And for the sake of time there, you know, I'm not being uh, perfect. I'm not coloring with inside the lines, but, you know, we are pulling some detail out there of those tires. Again, I'm just uh, going, I'm just kind of outlining it. Use your left and right bracket keys always to change your brush size, even if you're using a Wacom tablet. Many people don't realize that. They're like, Jack, I'm using a Wacom pad. How do I adjust my brush sizes? The same way you always do. Left and right bracket keys on your keyboard. And we'll go across the rim here on the outside of the rim. Um, so again, we're just painting uh, with black. Because when you paint on black on a layer mask, on a white layer mask, you uh, reveal. When you use white, you hide what's underneath. And we're just pulling this detail out of the layer below this layer is what we're doing. So make sure you always clicked on the layer mask. Make sure that layer mask is where you want it. Uh, if the detail is not coming out, it's probably on the wrong layer. Okay, so that looks pretty good. That detail is pretty good there. It looks good. We're pulling out the, a lot of the detail there. There we go. We're going to go back over to the back tire. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the back tire. I'm going to come around the rim here. Again, this is a high key line drawing detail effect. High key line drawing detail. So the picture doesn't even have to be high key original. You don't have to take the high key. You could you could photograph people in high key, but you don't have to. You can use your tools and create high key effects, and that's what you want to do. So, and if you're doing this as a portrait, remember you can do this as a hair. We can do this as uh, uh, landscape photos. Just put any detail you want of your photograph and give it a little bit more uh, pop, a little pizzazz, as I always say. And don't overdo it. Only pull the detail where you may want to have detail. Um, you know, let's see here. This is a, and uh, let's see if you don't get some detail or if you don't have certain detail. Uh, if you're getting too much detail, like these straps are pretty nice. Um, if we make a mistake, just switch over. Uh, you can do that just by simply, uh, I believe it's the uh, X key. So if you hit the X key on your keyboard, we can paint with white. and We can maybe take that out. We don't like that. Just go over it and remove it off those straps. Remove the black. Maybe you don't like it, so you want to take it off of there. Um, that's when we're painting with white. And you use the keyboard command X to do that. So there you go. There's some very popping detail of that motorcycle now. Uh, it's a very high key shot, but we brought some detail back out just by simply using a layer mask. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed all my video tutorials on Photoshop Elements, and I hope you continue to enjoy those. And I want you to practice this stuff. Uh, if you're on our Facebook group, our Facebook group is uh, Jack's Tech Corner. You know, do a high key edit and post it to the Facebook group. We love to uh, look at your work and, uh, you know, we love to see details. So uh, I hope you come back often. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And once again, don't forget to go to jtclearning.com and sign up for one of the Photoshop Elements video tutorial uh, courses. Once you sign up, you're a member for life. So don't worry. Oh, I'm going to, I only got five days to finish this. Um, the videos are there. There's 50 videos that teach you all these great tools all the quick edits and guided edits, and you'll learn how to do that. And then you can use those tools to their fullest. Folks, thank you so much once again for joining me here at Jack's Tech Corner for another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Have a great day. Keep those shutters clicking. Keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now.